Hello, welcome to Oscar Modeling. Welcome to part three of our build of the Flyhawk 1700. What are we building here? I have <laughs> it's it's been a struggle today. Right, the Bismarck it is. So <laughs> yeah. Um so I'm working on a the next part of superstructure, which is still on part four of the instructions. Um, this required uh, a bit of photo etch, not too much. It was actually just by chance that I found that there even was photo etch for this. So if we have a look at this piece, look at that. So just those two walkways that stick out either side. They're the bits of photo etch I need to, needed to add. Also put these on. Uh, that barrier across the front there is on and what happens here is that um I, all i need to do now is paint this the color i'm doing the sides of the ship structures and and then there's wood deck to go on the top there so i'm going to get this painted now or oh, actually i've got to undercoat it first so i'll paint it this afternoon and then it'll be tomorrow uh, I'll be out morning. I'll be able to put that little bit of wood deck on it in there, and that will be completed. That piece. Uh, there is a couple more little boxes to go on there, but they go on the wood deck, so I can't put them on yet. So, and that will also be the completion of step four. Now, when I said those bridges were tricky, see, step four shows you the normal kit parts to use which are all here um, and how to put that together and I thought surely there's photo etch for that so I'm going through the instructions and literally searching for anything that looks like that part build when on page three right at the bottom is this and it shows me part 48, part 46, and which is the parts from the kit. And then there's the photo which. So uh, lucky I didn't waste time building and putting the plastic on when I had that. Um, that's the thing with these instructions is, is you've got to refer back. You, you're about to build something, put something together. You've got to go through every page of this and search the whole thing to see if, it, if there's a photo etch version of it because it doesn't tell you to go back and that it's photo etch. It'll only show you the kit parts. This is an aftermarket add to the kit. So the original instructions don't refer you back to this photo etch at all. Um, now, one other thing, just a, a little tip if you happen to be doing this kit, is I've come across a few labelling mistakes so when there was um, building uh, these little radar units, I think they are, and they've got the little pieces sticking out. I'll just bring the camera down a bit. Okay, so they've got little pieces sticking out here. Um, in the instructions, they tell you they're uh, P2, P3, P3, P7. Well, they're all mixed up. They're wrong. Um, they're not... They are those pieces, but not in that order. Because when you go to put them in, you think, oh, hang on, because they're, they're keyed to go in a certain size. So you, you can't put them in the way the instructions tell you because it's wrong. You can only put them in the way you'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, and there was also another piece. Uh, I think it was one of the... Um, was it on this? I think it was on this. Um, oh, there's... Right, this is small, but... And you would never know, but there's like two little, little binoculars, I think they are, that go on either side. There's also another two that go on in, that are inside that little barrier in there. So inside there's two, but one of them went bing and gone. And this thing is like... A less than a millimeter long and 
there's no way it's gray it landed on my gray carpet i'm sure and i will never find that so fortunately it's in under there and you get really you'd have to be you know i didn't even try and replace it by building another part it's just not going to be seen so it's okay all right so i'm going to go and paint the undercoat this now so it's got a bit of a couple of hours to dry then i'll put the main coat on which is what i've been using here is touching up on the other piece i did uh, i did a couple of coats over that railing that i hand painted and it's come up fine uh yeah and that will finish that and then we'll turn the page and look at five which i haven't done yet because i don't want to we'll just focus on this it's becoming a bit of a mess here if i can show you exactly how this bench is looking there we go so i've got everything everywhere because you know what, what you tend to do here while you're working and particularly when you're wearing these is that everything's in close you bring everything close to you so when you put down your tweezers it's usually right there and when you pick up your exacto knife or whatever it's right there you know and then you reach for your glue and then you find then you're getting your other glue and you're using that and then you've got to grab the raised blade and the photo etch and you find that everything is crowding in around really close to you and when you take these off you look down and you go holy cow look at all this shit everywhere um so yeah when i finish the piece it's usually a bit of a tidy up time anyway we'll be back shortly and we'll have a look at this when it's done and probably when i've got the um decking on there it's only a little piece on either side a couple of slithers of it won't take long so we'll come back then okay cheers okay we're back guys and um so i've got this part painted up and, uh, it's in its final color which is the color we want it and all i need to do now is put the decking on which goes down either side there so i'll just put that i've got a bit of blue tack there so that this can sit over the top and just touch it down it holds it in place a little bit keep it still here's our wood decking and what i need is just take off this piece here and this piece here and stick them on there no problem um, so i'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll come back and have a look at it when it's finished in about a quarter of a second back shortly okay we're back and as you can see those pieces are missing because they're on there and that went on there quite well no problem um, i did have to be a little bit careful in the positioning of them um, because at first when i placed them on i had them hard up against the outline of where the structure goes on top of this but then i realized it needs to go against the the outer edge of this structure and leave a gap around there but otherwise there it is so this piece is completed now which was the last part of step four on the instructions so that will now go into the box and we'll move on to step five now I'll just readjust my camera and we'll have a look at what that involves. Okay, so there's our pieces away for step four. That includes the photo edge guns and the other um, guns that will go on that deck. The piece we just put the decking on will go on top of the previous piece, the larger piece there. So they're completed now, which is good. So I'll put those aside. Now, I'm looking at step five now, and it got a little bit confusing. So, it got very confusing. <laughs> and, and this is where you've got to really pay attention to instructions. Um, so, what happened is, in step five, there's a, a big radar dish, or it's square though, that sits up on top. And it's labelled P32. And I thought surely there'd be a photo etch version of that so i went through and i looked and on the sprue gate here we have there is a p32 and it is there the plastic piece so i thought it must be photo etch so when i go to the photo etch which we see here 
we've got all this here. Um, but they reference it as P34. And I thought, okay, P34. So it's a different piece. So I went through the instructions instead of, so from step five that we're at, I've gone on to step six, there's nothing, step seven, and there it is. In step seven, there's that radar piece, P34. So the piece they're referring to in photo etch is P34 in step seven. And But then they've got here, um, there's option, there's a question mark between the two. So you can do it two ways. You can have it look like it's got, I'll bring this up closer, you can have it look like it's got this section in here where you add all these little pieces, or you can have it look like this, where you put one, this big piece over the top. And then what I find is that when I look at the, the plastic piece, there's also uh, P35, P34, so there's three pieces. So there's going to be three of these units. So when I went to the photo etch, I thought, well, maybe there isn't just one of them is photo etch and the rest you've got to use plastic. So I look at the photo etch and sure enough, for the radar, there's one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's three pieces of each to make three units. So the instructions don't tell you on the photo etch to make three of these, they're showing you how to make one and then they only reference it to one of the photo etch pieces, P34, when they should really have put P34, P32, P30, whatever the other number was. So you knew that you've got enough here to make three of these for each section. So if you're not careful, I would have just gone, oh, well, there's no photo etch for that and just use the plastic part and then you know, and then two steps later, go, ah, oh, there it is there. And then you go to your photo etch and you look and you go, ah, oh, here it is. And then you realize, oh, I could make three of these. And it's too late. You've already glued on your first one without being photo etch. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's something you've just got to pay attention to the little details. So that being the case, if we're going to make one, we might as well make all three. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now, is I'll be making all three of these out of the photo etch, um, but we'll also collect the other parts we need for the step five here as well. So in step five, um, that's the piece there that's going to be photo etch, we'll work on. And that'll go on to this, which goes on to this, which goes on to this. Now, I haven't looked yet, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be something else photo etch somewhere on these pieces. There's also another part here, um, which goes down on there, and then goes on to there. So uh, this piece will all be built up. So I'll have to go through every page and every step through here and find something that anything that looks like this because they don't reference you back to step five or anything like that and in most cases they don't even reference you back to the part you're working on uh, that you're replacing for instance those stairs there they've got p15 and they've got it yellow well yeah the p15 yellow stairs are plastic on the sprue but you know i, I think i have stairs in photo etch but now i need to go and find somewhere in amongst this a picture that shows uh, which piece and which sprue of photo etch those stairs are um, along with anything else that may be needed to be added to this piece as extras all right so i'll make a start on these and we'll come back and have a look at it shortly
Okay, so you saw that that was completed. So fast forwarded through the construction of one, and now we have the three of them done here. Is it going to focus for me? Probably not. Yeah. So those three are done. Um, I'll put those aside now. And as I was saying before, I checked in the instruction on part five here, and I was looking for any other photo etch. And we found that, which we've just made. And then I found on the instructions for the photo etch here. And of course, there's no reference to this being part of step five. You just have to go search through all of it and, get, and find it. There's the piece. So this is the piece we're building here. And this is the photo etch. So it looks like we have railings going all the way around the top of this piece. Um, some other pieces sticking off the side there. Uh, it doesn't look like anything has to be removed. Um, there's a little top area of the stairs there. And and then this is looking at the side at an upward angle um, once that piece is on. And that will sit on there. And that's, that's the piece there. Uh, so... Just trying to make sure, looking at it correctly, yeah. So there's uh, the, the stairways that I mentioned earlier on here. Well, there it is there, so it tells me what part it is. So we've found that. There's also, it looks like some stairs on the back here as well. Or a ladder. There's a ladder down the side at the back there as well. Okay, so I'm going to um, collect all the pieces I need and put them all ready to go. And assemble everything I need to assemble before we go ahead and start on um, adding photo etch to it. I think that's the best way to proceed. Um, that's going by this, this, and onto here, and this bit is just this bit. Now, um, there's also um, a part that goes on top of here that's showing on here. But we haven't got to build that yet. It might be a bit further on. There's also another section here. Which I haven't found yet. So I'll have to search through and see if there's photo etch um, anywhere for this part here. Um, so yeah, there, there's something that looks similar there. But I don't think that is that. I think it's that. Okay, it does make it difficult when nothing points to the piece kit piece or kit step you're up to. This is all just so random in here. It's just sections are all so random. And then all of a sudden you'll come across, uh, for instance, where we were just doing those radars. You get a, a, a section like this. And then down in the corner, there's a piece there that has nothing to do with the radar units. And... It, there's nothing to do with over the next page. You, you don't even know what that is. Doesn't. There's no reference to what it goes to. You just got to go through the instructions, all of them, and find something that looks a bit like that. Remembering that this is photo etch and it's higher detail than what the kit piece will be. So you're just generally looking for something that shape that this is going to replace and find it <laughs> somewhere on the kit. Uh, this is how it's easy to miss parts so, and miss pieces. And... Alright, so I'll collect all these parts, put these together, and we'll come back and have a look at this. Cheers. Hello, welcome back. Okay, so where I'm at so far is I've finished this piece here, which um, has all little binoculars and everything around that front barrier there put those on now this has a bit of decking that needs to go on this section here which means I need to spray this and paint this before I put the decking down um, there's also a few little boxes that need to go on top of the decking um, that aren't there yet and there's a couple of guns that will go on after the decking as well um, I'll have to spray them uh, paint them individually 
with a little brush because they the decking won't go over the top of them. So that's done. Now I've also done the piece that sits in the center on top of there. And that's this one, which includes one of those three radar pieces we did. And that'll go on top. And I'll, I was going to put it on there and paint it all together, but then I thought I won't because I need to hand paint uh, down around in front of the barrier the wall there where all the binoculars are because that's the actual darker grey. So I need to have that area as accessible as possible. So I'll put that down after and I'll paint these two separately like this. Earlier we did the piece that sits on the back there. Um, I'll paint that as well. Um, one thing to note with the instructions if you do this kit, um, if you make up these this photo etch on this piece, and there were three of them, I haven't checked the others yet, but um, it won't go on this, this piece where this particular one goes, it won't go on there because there's a piece of photo etch that sort of sticks out the back of it and comes around and it won't let you sit flat like the original piece. So, to give you a better idea, I'll look at this. So, that's the piece there. And you'll see that the back of it is has a little slot that sits into the slot on that. Well, the photo edge piece doesn't have that slot. Um, instead, it has a raised piece that comes around, which means you can't... It won't let you sit flush against any surface to stick it on. So, I had to take out that piece in the back and then just fit flat against that little tab that's sitting out. I could have trimmed off the tab and sat it flat against the thing, but then that would not look right because it needs to be sticking out a little bit. Um, so instead I took the little piece off the back of that, and, uh, and believe me, nobody's going to stand there at the bottle and go, oh my god, you've looked, you, you took that off, because... You would have to be an ant to be able to see that missing piece. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go back now and I'll give these a uh, undercoat first, and then I'll give it a couple of hours. I'll come back and give it the the base coat, and hopefully, because it's still reasonably early here this afternoon, I'll be able to put that deck on and touch up in there the, the darker colour for the deck there. Uh, the wood decking can go on, and we can stick that onto there, and probably that piece on there as well. Uh, as for railings around on here, I would think that there would be railings on there, but there's no way I could make heads or tails of those photo etch instructions, and I just can't find a photograph of a piece in the instructions that shows this piece and whether it has railings or not. So, yeah, uh, if it did, I'd be putting them on now, but... I can't see any, and I don't know which pieces to use for them if there are photo etch railings for it. Anyway, it's okay. Little things we deal with along the way. So I'll be back shortly with these, hopefully all painted up, and um, and that'll be step five done. We'll move on to the next step. Okay, back in a second. Okay, welcome back again. And we have completed step five here. I'm just going to gently pick this up and show you. Hopefully we can focus in on this. Camera's going to behave. So there it is. Uh, the decking is there. Uh, I've painted the sides. I've painted the the deck that isn't decking. So that's covered as well. I've got all the photo etches on. And that is completely done. And goes in the box as done. Thank God for that, because it was quite quite tricky. Okay, so that goes into there, and we'll put that away. Now, I've already begun step six. So step six is here. Just bring the camera down a bit closer and have a look. Right that away so, a bit of a mess around here that's sort of what happens when you're in the thick of it 
So step five was this part here. Now there's a photo etch on that platform there with railing and a couple of bits on the ends of the gun mounts turrets on the side there. This isn't, I have to paint this yet. Uh, there will be no, there's no uh, wood decking to go on this. Um, so that'll be a little bit easier. So that will be pretty to paint. Um, but on top of that goes uh, this piece here. And that slit you see on the side of it there focus yeah so that little slit on the side there is where another piece of plastic goes which is this part and that will slide on there create like a platform but there this is completely replaced with photo etch um, so at this point I won't be using this instead this down I'll be using this which is what I'm working on at the moment so I'm bending this at the moment as you can see I've got the rails around the side of it done it's very tricky you just have to slowly manipulate it and get the shape around it, it will work you can see I've got one more piece a barrier here which needs to come up and go around there and then that will slide on to the edge of this and like that somehow yeah and there's a few things to go on top of that and then of course that goes on top of the other platform so um, again there's no um, there's no decking for any of this uh, but it will need to be painted a, a bit of a darker color that I'm doing the dark areas of the deck. You can see all the detail there on the edge. Underneath, there's a lot of um, supports that need to be put in there. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> Very fiddly bits. Uh, and this will go into step six for that. The rest of step six, and we'll just have a look at the instructions. Well, here's the photo which for it anyway, so you can see I'm, this is the piece I'm bending at the moment. Underneath we've got all these little bits of all the support bracings. Uh, they're all colour-coded. There's a couple of other pieces that look like they stick out off on that, and there's some platforms and walkways beneath it that aren't part of the kit, they're just part of the extra detail, and it goes through and shows you how to make them which is another confusing part of these instructions because here it shows you the pieces and here it shows you the pieces with the bits on them and then you go down to the next step and it's showing you how to build those bits on them. So it's really all of this should be above that because you need to build these before you see, before it's going to look like that. But anyway, that's Flyhawk. That's, yeah, that's the way they are. Um, so that's all done. You saw that piece there. There's that platform. That's all done. Uh, so shortly all this section, this half of the page here will be done, which is a good thing. And then we'll move on to another part of the superstructure. Now, step six <coughs> uh, also includes this mast. And when I checked um, photos of the ship, I realized there are two masts. This is a more basic one. Now there is a photo etch version of this, which I will be building, um, which is not too difficult. There's a, a little bit of a change in the cross member. I can show you what that mask looks like. Here it is over here. So there, there's what the mast is there. So you're going to have these pieces as braces and supports. There's your brass piece up. We've got this cross section to do, and there's a piece on top. And there's a close up view of that piece on top, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm fairly sure that is that. And then that's the finished 
piece. I, the thing that put me off was this part here. This looks like a kit part going by the colour, but it isn't. I don't know why that's there. Anyway, so that'll be that done. The other mask is a bigger mask we'll get to later, which has a lot more detail on it. Okay, and lots of subsections to that mask. All right, so, yeah, so I'll be doing that mask um, and seeing how much of all this needs to be put together um, before I paint it. I'm guessing most of it will be put together and painted because the decking area that hasn't got wood deck, I've just been hand brushing uh, the darker grey and it's come up fine, you know and deliberately not letting it look perfect either because I want it to look like it's been used a bit so I don't want it looking 100% pristine, pristine. alright so I'm going to finish off this now um, I'm just checking how we're going for time ok we're doing ok so what I'll do is I'm going to complete this so which means finishing that bending and getting this uh, as much together as possible and even probably painting it before we come back and have a look at that bit completed and I'll let you know if I had any issues uh, with it. There's actually a search light on there so I'll have to go and check and see if there's a photo etch of that as well because um, as usual with these instructions they don't refer you to the other instructions you just got to search through and see if the pieces exist. Um, so that's that, yeah. And then we'll be on to step seven, which uh, I think is heading towards the funnel, getting to that area, which I've heard is really complicated. And I've seen from, um, if you've heard of Plasmo has built this kit, I had a look at his video, and apparently the funnel itself um, has almost 60 or 70 parts to it in photo etch so yay i'm looking forward to that <laughs> okay back shortly okay welcome back again and i end up building um the two photo etch guns that go on the platform for step six um i'll, I'll show you a photo of these because they're just too small for the camera to pick up so get a look at just how tiny those are you know, they look a lot better than the um, the plastic parts from the kit. But they're so small anyway that once they're painted up, it would be very difficult to tell much of a difference. Uh, and who looks at models that closely? I don't know. But anyway, so the, gun, the guns will go on this. So here's the platform that's completed. You can see... All, uh, all done with all the photo etch and those guns will go on each side of that and then this will attach it's going to be a bit delicate um, and then that will attach to the top of that and that piece is also finished so what I'll do is I'll, I'll glue that on there, I'll attach the guns on there, and then, <laughs> that was good, well there you go, just goes to show my, my um, effort at gluing is quite good, it survived, okay, um, so what I'll do now is also I'll build the mast, the photo etch mast for that, and attach it to that, that will complete that piece completely and I'll be able to paint it then. Uh, the mast is looks fairly simple. There's two masts on the ship. This one's not as hard as the next one, but there's you know half a dozen pieces to go on there. So I'll do that and um, when it's all together we'll come back and have a quick look at it before I um, end up uh, airbrushing it. Okay, back shortly. Okay, back again, and this is now all put together. Let's do that. So, 
you'll notice there is I didn't use the brass um, mast for this. Um, I found that when I put the plastic piece and the brass piece side by side, there's absolutely no difference whatsoever at all. And because it has two little support pieces down the bottom, along with two pieces that stretch up to the side of the of this section here um, it would have just been way too fiddly and and the chance of it just not working properly so I ended up using the plastic part I looked at it and considered when you put paint over it there, there's no difference at all so there we go, which, talking about paint, is what I'm about to do now. I'm going to go and put a undercoat on this now with the airbrush and then uh, maybe this afternoon um, put the colour grey over it and then once again I'll probably uh, hand paint and touch up the, the guns on there and probably a bit of gun metal on the barrels and just get them looking right. Now I've noticed that the post, uh, the mast here is a bit bent, um, so I'm not worried, too worried about that because when I do the rigging on the ship, um, I can just extend a couple of pieces of rigging going back on the top of this superstructure here, and that'll help me straighten up that mast without the risk of trying to bend it and possibly breaking. Okay, so back shortly when I've I'll have a look at this when it's painted up. Okay, hello, welcome back again. And as I promised, back when let me look at this now that I've painted it. Uh, so I undercoated it yes last yesterday afternoon, and I've just painted it this morning, about half an hour ago. And uh, yeah, it's come up quite good. So. What I'll do now is I'll just touch up the guns on there. For probably, uh, you know, they're, they're small, so I'm not going to have to do too much, but just a little glint of gunmetal on the barrel, maybe, um, with a searchlight up on there, um, which I'll do the just a touch of um, my ultra glue that dries clear and leaves a, a lens like effect on the end of that. So I'll, I'll do that. There's a section to go on top of this with a support on it that goes onto that mast there. Um, and that's the section that'll be in the next part, um, seven of the instructions. So let me just put that aside. So we've now completed all of this, part step six. Step five is completed. Um, Yep, that's all done. Now we're going on to step seven, which will go on top of that. And there's this platform here with a few more, what looks like binoculars and so forth on there. Um, then there's a piece that goes on top of that with another radar unit and one of those earlier radar square pieces we built will go onto the front of that. And there's some rail um, brass rods that go underneath piece here now going to the photo etch even though that's step seven in order of the instructions it's interesting but expected um, that going by the photo etch there it is here so this is the piece here which is showing up before the piece we did in step six so Step seven now is actually on the instructions before step six. And it shows there's some photo etch pieces to go on here. Bits and pieces, not too difficult. Um, so I'll put that together. And then we'll go over to step eight, which looks like the funnel. Finally get onto this funnel. Okay, so we'll call this a video here. This will be the 
This was part three. We'll, we'll continue this in part four. And um, it's slowly taking progress. Now, mind you, I haven't touched the, um, the hull or the deck yet. They're, they're literally still wrapped up and still sitting in the box here. So, who knows, maybe in um, part four video we might uh, at least undercoat or do something with, with these. We'll, we'll see. But otherwise, it's there's still a couple of, a few steps to go yet before they actually want, it's not until step 11 where they're actually calling for putting any superstructure down onto the deck itself. So there's quite a bit more to build yet. And then even that, when that superstructure here goes down on number 11, that's only this section. Then we start all over again, building up the um, stern superstructure areas, which is uh, a completely, you know, just continues on again, where it's not until step, looks like step 15, where that will go down on the deck. So, yeah, quite a lot. And that's without looking at any photo etch. And as you'll see, going by uh, the funnel that we'll be doing possibly in the next video, um, lots of platforms, um, lots of detail, uh, yeah, tons of stuff for this funnel. Uh, as I mentioned before, I think there's well over 50 to 60 pieces of photo which alone to go on that all right thank you for watching um hopefully i'll see you all in part four um, please subscribe if you haven't already uh, if you're first to come in and look at this video please go back to the playlist and you can watch it from the beginning including the unboxing of this model uh so yes subscribe if you haven't already um give us a, a thumbs up if you like the video and of course comment below the comments are welcome um, and uh, I'll see you in part four bye for now